Today I'm shooting a movie and it's just going to be the area where I grew up in the past. Just, just about a half a mile uh, of where I grew up. In, in future movies uh, we're going to cover the whole town, but I just wanted y'all to see that the neighborhood that I grew up in. This is the former site of Ranger's grocery store. Mr. Ranger was a great man. He was a, a, a big influence in my life. Mr. Ranger used to let us come in here. He'd give us free chicken parts and stuff to put in our crab nets. We'd go down here to up a Wicker's Pier and do some crabbing and fishing. Mr. Ranger's property is just right across the street from where we grew up at 328 St. Louis Street. We're at the corner of St. Louis and Henderson. Spent many an hour riding bikes up and down the street, skateboarding. We used to play football out in the middle of the street. We're at Highway 90 and Henderson Avenue. When I was growing up, this was the property, this was the Rich Lou Apartments property. The Richelieu was destroyed in August of 1969, Hurricane Camille. But me and some friends, uh, we came and swam in the pool that very day, the day that Camille hit. The parking lot that you see now, it, when I was a, a child, up to 1969. That's where the uh, rectory for the Trinity Episcopal Church was. The Trinity Church, up until 1969, the building actually came all the way to the corner of this property and it was a traffic nightmare for people that were going down Church Avenue wanting to turn on St. Louis. We used to sit on our bikes on the sidewalk there and, and see many almost head-on collisions because of the obstruction the church caused. Notice in the picture, there's, there's a big white archway that was on this corner, and it's gone now. It was it was destroyed by Katrina in 2005. Behind me is the new Trinity Church, and when I say new, I mean post Katrina, 2005. Notice how high it is, and that's to meet uh, elevation requirements, uh, insurance requirements, flooding requirements. But you can see it's, it's, it's pretty high up there. I'm in the, on the property behind the Trinity Episcopal Church. When we were kids, this was called the rice field. This is where everybody, generations of people came to play baseball. We 
we used to park our bicycles. We'd line them up right here and the spoke served as a backstop so we didn't have to chase the baseball. This is West 2nd Street and Church Avenue. This is the middle school you see right here. But when I was growing up, this was the high school. And of course the high school, it, it actually survived Hurricane Camille in 69. It got flooded, the gym was destroyed, but the school itself survived and then it was later destroyed by Katrina in 2005. picture you just saw, that was my grandfather, James Farrell, and my cousin, Nolan Corley, Jr. That picture was taken in 1929, and our tree is still here. I lived on this property right here from 1955 until Hurricane Camille took it in 1969. Every Halloween, we used to hang a dummy from this limb right here and drop it on trick-or-treaters as they tried to get to our house. We lived here from 1955 to 1969. Camille hit when I was 14 years old. But our house was completely destroyed. All that was left was the steps, the front steps. Uh, the railroad tracks further north of us, that's where we found the floor to the kitchen, and that was basically all we found of the house. It was all washed away in a, in a tidal surge. And how many kids? How many of you were there? Uh, kids. Well, there's ten kids in the family, but I think uh, three of them were married by then. Maybe four of them were married. My brothers and sisters. Did y'all y'all weren't here for the storm though? No, huh? no, we we evacuated. We stayed on Davis Avenue. Right. We had one neighbor, the Fonies. They lived to the west of us, and uh, the property on the west side here. Uh, is where we all played football. My dad even built us a zip line, and uh, it looked like Disney World here on any given day. All the kids that would be riding that zip line. Damn, uh, maybe 50 or 60 years ago. Yes, Spike, I just feel fortunate that I made it this. this <laughs>